Were seven types of rest and leisure. Rest is an essential component of a leisure lifestyle, and every person needs several types of rest. Physical, mental, sensory, creative, social, emotional, and spiritual rest are the seven different types of rest that people require to recharge and rejuvenate. By incorporating leisure activities that promote the seven types of rest, you can improve your mood, ground and calm yourself, and enhance your quality of life. So whether you enjoy physical activities like sports, or prefer quieter pursuits like reading or meditation, there are plenty of ways to incorporate seven types of rest into your leisure time. Physical rest is often the first thing that comes to mind when discussing rest. However, there are passive and active forms of physical rest which allow your body to recover from daily life, injuries, and illnesses. Passive physical rest includes sleeping and napping. It allows your body to repair and regenerate, improving mood, memory, and cognitive function. Napping can also be a great way to recharge during the day, especially if you didn't sleep enough the night before. Active physical rest means restorative leisure activities, such as yoga, stretching, and meditation, that help improve the body's circulation and flexibility. Mental rest is as valuable as physical rest, especially in today's fast-paced world, helping to improve psychological health. There are some ways to incorporate mental rest into your leisure time and hobbies. Take short breaks throughout the day to help you recharge and maintain concentration. You can take a short walk, stretch, or close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Embrace boredom, as it can be a form of mental rest, as it gives your brain a chance to relax and recharge. You can do something mundane but valuable, like washing dishes or folding laundry, without distractions. Keeping a notepad with you can help you clear your mind, writing down thoughts or ideas that come to mind without worrying about organizing or acting on them enables you to feel more organized and reduces mental clutter. Sensory rest involves removing stimulation by unplugging from electronics, intentionally removing stimulation to allow your senses to rest and recharge. This type of rest is critical, especially when our environment constantly bombards us with sensory input from electronic devices, social media, and other sources. Removing stimulation from your environment is one way to practice sensory rest. You could create a quiet, peaceful space in your home, a retreat for you when you need a break from the noise and chaos of daily life. Taking a break for a few hours, a day, a weekend or longer from social media, the TV, or simply spending time in nature without any distractions gives your senses a much needed break. When it comes to rest, creative rest is often overlooked, but it is just as important as physical or mental rest. Creative rest involves engaging with creative mediums, such as the arts, books, and film. One way to engage with creative mediums is to take up a new hobby. Whether painting, writing, or playing an instrument, finding a creative outlet can bring a fresh perspective to your life. You do not have to be an expert to enjoy a new hobby. Trying something new and challenging yourself can be a great way to boost your creativity and feel more fulfilled. Make time for the things you already enjoy. If you love to read, set aside some time each day to dive into a good book. If you enjoy music, create a playlist of your favorite songs and listen to it when you need a break. Whatever your creative outlet may be, prioritize it and make time for it in your schedule.
Nature is another great way to engage with creative mediums. Whether walking in the park or hiking in the Grand Canyon, spending time in nature can help you feel more connected to the world and inspire creativity. If you are feeling stuck or uninspired, taking a break and spending time in nature can be just what you need to get your creative juices flowing. The arts, including music, dance, and theater, are great ways to engage with creative mediums. Attend a concert or a play, or take a dance class to help your creative juices flow. Books and films are also great ways to engage with creative mediums. Whether writing or reading a novel or watching a movie, immersing yourself in a story can be a great way to escape and recharge your batteries. When it comes to social rest, it's crucial to consider where you get your energy from. Social rest involves spending time with positive and supportive people. If you are an introvert, you may feel more energized when you spend time alone, while extroverts may feel more energized when they spend time with others. Understanding your energy sources can help you plan your social interactions and leisure activities accordingly. Social connections are essential for our well-being, but not all social interactions are equal. Positive and supportive people can help us feel recharged and energized, while negative or toxic people can leave us drained. It's important to prioritize spending time with people who make you feel good and limit interactions with those who do not. Family and friends can be a great source of social rest, but it's important to balance time with loved ones and other social activities. The quality of our interactions is just as important as the quantity. Meaningful conversations, shared experiences, and positive emotions can all contribute to social rest. On the other hand, superficial or stressful interactions can leave us feeling drained, so prioritize social activities that allow for meaningful interactions and connections. Emotional rest is crucial in maintaining a healthy mind and body. It requires setting boundaries and saying no when necessary and taking time to offload emotional baggage and recharge your emotional batteries. When you neglect emotional rest, you may feel drained, overwhelmed, and stressed. Boundaries help you establish healthy relationships, build self-esteem, and reduce stress and anxiety. When you set boundaries, you communicate your needs and values, and you teach others how to treat you. Start by identifying your limits and expressing them. Be authentic and assertive, and don't hesitate to say no when needed. Emotional rest is needed to balance the filling up and pouring out of your cup. If you spend too much time pouring out your cup, you may feel depleted and drained. On the other hand, if you only focus on filling up your cup, you may feel disconnected from others. Spiritual rest is an essential type of rest that helps you find purpose, meaning, and connection with the deeper world around you, such as through awe, inspiring experiences, or moments of inspiration. It is about stepping back from your daily routine and focusing on your inner self. By doing so, you can recharge your batteries and find balance in your life. To achieve spiritual rest, you need to connect with the deeper world around you. One way to do this is by spending time in nature. Nature has a way of calming the mind and soothing the soul. It's a perfect place to find peace, away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Walk in your neighborhood park, hike, or sit outside and enjoy the world's beauty. 
Another way to connect with the deeper world is by practicing mindfulness or meditation. These practices help you focus your mind and calm your thoughts. By doing so, you can tap into your inner wisdom and find clarity and purpose in your life. Whether it's physical, mental, social, creative, spiritual, sensory, or emotional rest, each type of rest plays a crucial role in helping us recharge and rejuvenate. By prioritizing rest and leisure, we can improve our overall well-being and increase our productivity and creativity. So take some time to assess your needs and find ways to incorporate different types of rest into your daily routine. Your mind, body and spirit will thank you for it. Subscribe and visit us at leisureanswers.com.